The Don Redwood that you see behind me is a very ancient tree. Its time of origin is estimated to be about 100 million years ago, so it lived alongside the dinosaurs. And fossil records indicate it was present here in North America from its origin to about 6 million years ago. It then slowly receded to just two isolated river valleys in a rural area of China. It was almost extinct. But in the early 1940s, when just a few hundred trees remained in existence, a Harvard-trained Chinese forestry professor rediscovered this tree. And horticulturists brought seeds and cuttings back to Harvard, and one of those trees ended up here in my backyard. My tree was planted in about 1975, and now approximately 50 years later, it stands 130 feet tall and has a trunk diameter of about five feet. It's just a beautiful, beautiful tree. I learned just how unique this tree was about eight years ago when an arborist was taking down a dead ash tree in my backyard and he told me a little bit about it. And I became fascinated by this tree's story and decided to try and grow the tree from seeds. I had a, a lot of failures, but finally discovered an approach that works and now grow about a hundred a year from seed and disseminate them across my state of Connecticut. They are extremely fast growing and the birds and animals just love them. A description of the method I currently use to grow the trees from seed follows. If anyone would like to try this, I would be happy to provide you with seeds. Starting in late September and continuing through October, I collect the closed green seed cones as soon as they fall off the tree. I go looking for them every couple of days and place them immediately in a small paper bag which I hang in my outdoor shed to overwinter. The seeds must be cold treated to activate them. The cones dry out over the winter, open up, and the seeds fall out. In the spring I simply shake the bag to separate the seeds from the cones and discard the cones. In mid-March, I place potting soil in two 72-count seed starter trays and sprinkle about five or more seeds in each. I then add a little potting soil on the top of the seeds. I place these in a tray containing a half inch of water and cover the tray with a plastic lid. This keeps the soil absolutely saturated with water which I feel is necessary for germination. When I did not do this, only a few seeds would germinate. The trays are positioned under a grow light in my basement. I never shut off the grow lights. Some algae growth develops over time, but it does not seem to bother the young trees. I found the germination rate much lower when I attempted to grow them under natural light. Once the seeds start sprouting, and are about an inch tall, I move them around so I have one in each cell. I also get rid of the weaker sprouts. I continue to keep the newly germinated seeds under the grow lights with a plastic cover on. They grow straight up and add leaves quickly. Again, the soil is kept saturated. In late June, the trees start pushing up against the plastic cover, and I remove all the trees and transplant them into 4-inch plastic pots containing potting soil with a little of my backyard dirt mixed in. I place half of these under grow lights in the basement because I simply don't have enough room for all of them, and the other half outside in a protected area. I continue to keep the soil saturated. The pots sit in standing water. I have found the trees under the grow lights are about twice as big as those placed outside by early September when I move the indoor trees outside to begin acclimating them. In mid-October, 
I bury the plastic pots in the soil and place a plastic greenhouse over the trees. This is where they overwinter. For the first four years of trying to grow these trees, I did not cover them with the greenhouse during their first winter, and I lost about 50% of them. I have no clue why. But the last two years, with the greenhouse cover, I have lost almost no trees at all. In the spring, I dig up the potted plants and place them in trays in a sunny location. I keep water in the trays and begin planting some of them in April, but hold off and plant most of them the following fall. They may need water for a couple of years while the roots spread, if not planted, in naturally wet areas. Again, if you have any interest in a tree or seeds, let me know. I would be happy to make them available to you.